Girl Scouts of America now tells girls that white people are evil oppressors. Now, before I even carry on, let me just quickly weigh in on this, and especially coming from South Africa. Get over this. You're supposed to be pushing for unity, for everybody being together and equally treated, but we flipped the script, and now everybody hates white people and anything to do with white. That is racism, no matter how you skin this. When the brain eventually reboots in most people, you realize what this is. The Girl Scouts have committed to becoming an anti-racist organization. That does not mean they stand against racism. The anti-racist movement is a promotion of racism, not a refutation of it. The anti-racist movement is against racism of minorities. They straight out promote racism against white people. The movement unreservedly racist against whites who they deem to be permanent unrepentant and irredeemably racist people. How's that even right? Hey, from their webpage, our anti-racism pledge reflects who we are, an organization that is rooted in values set forth in our Girl Scout law, including honesty, fairness, caring, courage, and respect for self and others. All of these are hallmarks of the Girl Scouts' broader commitment to diversity, equity. Do they know what these words mean? Inclusion and racial justice. Girl Scouts commit to taking action to support black girls, their families and their communities. And the whites are the evil, irredeemable oppressors. You might as well throw that whole value system right out the door because you don't understand diversity equity inclusion or racial justice only revenge and attack for past injustices and no equality or changing the future fortunately in christ jesus we are all one there is no jew no greek no barbarian no free no slave we are all equal in the eyes of jesus christ Jesus didn't come to save skin. He came to save lives. He values all of us. And that is something the devil does not want you to know. He wants division. He wants strife. He wants destruction. And he wants to tear us apart from the inside. And we don't need a lot of help. We just need a little bit of pushing. I know that because in South Africa, they're really good at that. Push, push, nudge, nudge, get the population to fight and to hate some groups, especially white groups or past prejudices and all these things. Just get them to hate on each other and fight each other. Kill the poor, kill the farmer, murder some more people. Everybody's happy. No one's watching the politicians. No one's watching the leadership. No one's watching the WEF octopus controls. No one's watching any of that. While well, they set up their new world order with their beast system and the Antichrist getting ready to step into the spotlight. Exciting times. Why do I say exciting times? Because we're still going to see many people come to a revival, saving grace of Jesus Christ knowledge before we go. We're going to see the rapture very shortly in our lifetimes. Imminently, any minute is how close we are to that. It could happen right now before I even post this video. That is how sure I am of how close we are. Because we see the signs of the times, the prophecies being fulfilled, everything laid out. And in a world of hatred and division and strife and idiocy and madness and demonic possession, we speak love and power and light and we speak jesus and we preach the cross and him crucified and raised again on the third day in victory over hell and death and that power stands with us as the holy spirit strengthens us for the last part of the race so are we afraid no are we excited yes lots to do little time to do it looking forward to an amazing feast with our god very shortly god bless Shalom.